Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We have another Warhammer 40k battle report for you today. 2,000 points, Blood Angels versus Death Guard. We're going to be playing No Mercy from the rulebook with uh, Dawn of War deployment. So in traditional Long War fashion, our only goal is to kill one another. In the instance of the Imperium, they're trying to bring down the Death Guard for being the heretics that they are. And in the instance of the Death Guard, we are trying to destroy the servants of the False Emperor. So uh, Death Guard will be deploying in the Prometheum refinery side of the table. And then there will be this stretch of abandoned highway between us with the Blood Angels coming from the trench network on this side. That is the table. We will be right back with the armies. So my force is set up in two battalions. My four HQs are a librarian on a bike, a Primaris librarian, a seminary priest, and Commander Dante. The fire support of the squad of the army is one ten man intercessor squad, three ten man inter, uh, infiltrator squads, and two ten man tax squads with a missile launcher plasma gun each. I have one squad of five uh, terminators with one assault cannon and two squads of five sniper scouts. Next up, we have the forces of the Death Guard also organized into a battalion. For our HQs, we have a Demon Prince of Nurgle and a Malignant Plague Caster. Uh, moving over to the body of the army, we have four squads of Plague Marines. We have two squads of seven with two Blight Launchers each. And then we have two squads of seven with three Plasma Guns each. In the Elite section, we have a seven-man Blight Lord Terminator squad. They have uh, four Combi Plasmas, uh, one guy with a Combi Bolter because we ran out of points, and then a uh, Flail or a Mace of Contagion and a blight launcher um, and then all of them are armed with bubotic axes except for one guy who is armed with a bell sword uh, we also have three all as cannon predators two rhinos and then for elite support from the uh, character section we have a foul blight spawn and a by lotus putrefier you have seen the armies and you have seen the table we will be back as we get stuck into the maelstrom deployment is complete the death guard were down first we went ahead and put our army in one big bulkhead to slam forward into the blood angels line uh, predators on either side with the rhinos bringing the plasma gun squads and the putrefier and the blight spawn to battle the sorcerer along with the two blight launcher squads on foot with the demon prince providing his support uh, i'm going to turn it over to eric now for his blood angels i set up my infiltrators on the outskirts of my army to prevent the terminators from hitting home my characters are in the back behind my fire support which is in the trenches and my intercessors are following up my left flank. You're right. All right. So as of right now, Death Guard have the first turn, but the Blood Angels are going to attempt to seize the initiative. Well, the five, they will not do it. So Death Guard will have the first turn. We're going to get that initial volley underway, and then we will be back. Turn one for the Death Guard is in the books. Went with a little bit of a conservative approach. So remained in our deployment zone with our characters and our predators. Uh, rhinos made a little bit of a push into the street and the marines advanced to get blight launcher range the blight launchers were able to bring down two guys from the missile launcher squad here uh, the predators combined to bring down four intercessors um, each predator missed twice uh, the first one wounded twice and he saved both on sixes uh, we were able to bring down three and a half intercessors with the last cannons and the last guy was cut down by the combi bolter fire from the first rhino the second Rhino cut one Marine out of this Plasma Gun squad, so a few Marines went down, but not a too much damage. Just testing the Blood Angels' defenses right now. A response coming up from the Blood Angels next. So my shooting uh, proved eventful. Both of my missile launchers and some Bolter fire brought one of the Rhinos down through incredible odds. Rest of my Volter Fire brought down five uh, Plague Marines right there, and then some other Volter Fire brought down three back, two back there, and lost one on morale. All right, so that will be two to zero in favor of the Blood Angels going into turn two, uh, with the Rhino giving up first strike and one point for the mission. We'll be back as turn two gets underway. The Death Guard have finished up turn two. We went ahead and pushed forward along this flank. 
Um, we were able to get Miasma of Pestilence off on the Terminators when they teleported in. We also brought in the second Rhino squad and moved them forward. And uh, their buddies that survived from the first round moved here. We went ahead and advanced with the Foul Blight spawn, fired on the uh, Interfiltrators in the back. Uh, got two shots, uh, wounded with one, and he rolled a six for his armor save, um, which kind of became a thing for the turn. We did get a lot of damage through. The last cannons fell short again on the Predators. They did. They killed off a handful of primary Marines, but not much. Um, plasma that was overcharged and the blight launchers did most of the damage you can see here. We killed off all of the intercessors um, and eight of the infiltrators on this end. Um, the rhino is charging into the plasma gun squad there to lock them up and the squad of marines that came out of the rhino is charging into the scouts. However, they did lose one man on overwatch to that charge. So we're going to go ahead and work those combats then we will be back. The death guard wrap up the fight phase. We were able to bring down two scouts with our plague knives. Um, and took no damage in return in either combat. We were able to consolidate with the Rhino and lock up the Infiltrators as well. Um, and the Blood Angel spent two points to keep them in the fight rather than risking only rolling a one to lose one guy. Since they lost eight guys, the morale was most likely going to wipe them out. So uh, going into the bottom of two, Blood Angel response up next. My shooting this turn was not as eventful, but still did some damage. Through psychic powers, I killed three uh, Plague Marines that were in close combat. My snipers killed his character, which was a pretty big blow. And random bolter fire brought down one of those guys. My Terminators dropped down in the backfield and dealt one wound to his. All right, so we're going to do some combat here. Librarian and secondary priest are going in, right? Yep. All right, we're going to work that, then we'll be back. Assault for me, didn't hardly do anything, wounded him a bunch, but he finally made some of his saves. In return, he killed two of my scouts. All right, we're going into turn three now. Um, right now, it stands, let's see, you picked up uh, one more point that turn, right, for the character? Correct. So that will give him another point, make it three to one in favor of the Blood Angels, going into turn three for the Death Guard. Death Guard have finished up turn three. Everything continued their advance on the trench to keep that pressure pushed up. Uh, we fell back with these Marines. Uh, we used uh, Smite here, but failed to check. We then cast Curse of the Leper and were able to kill off the last scout and then put Blades of Putrefaction on the Demon Prince. Uh, we went ahead and moved the rest of our Marine body forward and continued shooting. Uh, between all of the Plasma, Bolter, and Blight Launcher fire, we wiped out the Infiltrators, the Tactical Squad, the Space Marine Librarian on a bike, the Sanguinary Priest, uh, the three-man squad here with the calmly plasma fire from the Terminators and then the uh, Predators combined to bring down four or three of the guys down here. Blight Launcher from the Blight Lord Terminators kill off the fourth. Uh, this Predator then charged uh, eight, eight hits on uh, Overwatch, lost three of its remaining six wounds. Uh, so it is in real danger of dying in this combat, but we wanted to try to tie those guys up and keep them from shooting for a turn. Uh, so that's it up to the fight phase. We're going to work those combats and then we will be back. All right, fight phase. The Predator took one wound, did nothing in return. Over here, the Demon Prince was able to bring Dante down to two wounds. The Rhino actually caused a wound that was failed, but he rerolled the armor save to keep two wounds. In return, Dante did eight wounds to the Demon Prince. He was able to get two of those saved from Disgustingly Resilient to limp out of combat. He made three invulnerable saves, though, and the Suffocating Plate splashed two wounds of Acidic Icker onto Dante and finished him off. Um, so uh, the Slay the Warlord point is scored there for the Death Guard. Um, it is going into the Blood Angels for the bottom of turn three. So my missile launcher finished off the Predator. It's about time they started doing something for me. <laughs> the rest of my shooting was uneventful. I was able to bring down the one Marine left and pop two out of the four-man squad in the back with my Terminators. All right, you got any charges or anything? Nope, just going to keep my primary librarian in combat. All right, we'll work that combat. Salt phase was rather uneventful. I caused two wounds. He didn't do anything in return. All right, so where does that leave us at as far as score? That leaves us at nine versus five. All right, nine to five in favor of the Death Guard right now. Going into the top of four, correct? Correct. Right. Turn four, coming up next. All right, Death Guard, who finished up turn four, uh, Demon Prince moved over to recenter the line, and the Terminators and Plague Marines formed a new line after they have busted the flank and continue to push in this direction. 
uh, between all of our firepower, we were able to bring down all but three of the infiltrators from one squad and one in another squad. The lone guy failed his morale test, but the three guys here paid two points to stand firm and keep going. Uh, over here, Gong Show Combat, nothing at all happened. Uh, so that is the end of the turn. Death Guard are going to pick up one more point for that turn, which will put it 10 to 5 in favor of the Death Guard. Blood Angels turn 4, coming up next. So in my shooting, I tried to clean up as many points as I could, see if I could make ground up. I was just able to bring down the two Plague Marines, which would score me another point, which would bring the score to 11 to 7. Yep, because they're both holding line breaker. All right, so at that point, that'll be game in favor of the Death Guard. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you like what you saw. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on the game, the armies, anything that you'd like to see us try in the future. Um, as always, guys, thanks for spending time with us today at the Maelstrom.